For starters, new couch alerts. I don't know if you guys gathered by the themes on my channel and the things I like to wear and whatnot. My favorite color is yellow. So I found this amazing couch that is yellow. It's like a mustard color, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's so me and it fits my aesthetic. I'm really loving this new couch, so I hope you guys like it too. <laughs> Let me know, thumbs up if you like the couch and nothing if you don't. <laughs> Single, black, gay, gay. Welcome to another episode of Single Black Gay Dad. Today we are going to talk about why I no longer celebrate my birthday with others. So for starters, my very last birthday celebration was five years ago on my 30th birthday. I'm now 35. Let's go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's go. We only got 10 seconds. Why is he on the floor though? I can't. Go. Oh, My birthday party was amazing. <laughs> I had a great time. I was surrounded by close to 100 of my favorite friends and family and whatnot. And it was a great experience. But I started to realize that planning my birthday, executing it, celebrating with others is stressful for me. When I look back, I was surrounded by love and I enjoyed it, but I was stressed. <laughs> And I suffer from anxiety. So when I got to plan things and I got to execute and overlook every aspect of the party, and I'm a perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect. I take things personal. Things don't work out like with the food or with the people. I want everything to be perfect and I'm a control freak. So I'm not a person that can sit back and let other people plan the party and me just show up. <laughs> like I stress myself out that way because there's a lot of people in my life that I could utilize for help in certain areas because they're good at certain things and or that's their level of expertise. But I just don't know how to let go and let someone else have control. <laughs> that's one of the things I'm working on. I'm really working on it. For my birthday, I just don't want to be stressed out. And I, before COVID, I was never here for any of my birthdays. I would always be traveling abroad, be in the Caribbean somewhere hot with a beach, being served and waited on because that's what I deserve and that's what I like. And I usually do that. And I, I'm not one of those people who has the expectation that people will take off a whole week of work to go be on vacation with little old me. Cause like the average person gets two to three weeks of vacation a year and people are selfish out there where they think that their birthday is such a grand event that everyone else cares so much that the world must stop and take off their vacation and spend all this money. Like I'm not one of those people. Like I don't like, I like to go big or go home when it comes to me and what I deserve because I do deserve it and I treat myself accordingly. But I think it's kind of crazy that people have the expectation that others operate the same way for their birthday on every single year. Like I get the major important birthdays, the 20, 21, 25, 30, 35, whatnot. People like that are like that every single year. Every year they got a grand party that they want you to spend hundreds of dollars on in an outfit or leaving the country. I don't want to be doing all of that. And I don't have expectations that others do all that. So I started to say to myself, I'm like, after my 30th birthday, it was like, it was a great day. I had a wonderful time. But the stress of it, I'm like, I need to scale it back. And I'm a person who I believe that our birthdays are our New Year's, our personal New Year. And for me, my birthday is a time for me to reflect and think about the past year, to realign myself, to think about what my goals for the following year are going to be, to celebrate my accomplishments, and really relish in the hard work that I put in for myself. So when I think back <laughs> at that kind of stuff, I'm like, I like to do me and I like to do all the things that I like. I'm not a person who likes to compromise on a regular day. I don't and I damn sure am not compromising on my birthday. And my birthday to me is such an important day and I don't like to be disappointed. 
Yes, I know this is a trauma response. I feel like when you include others in your birthday plans, sometimes it results in disappointment. Not all the time if you have the right group of friends or, or your family really come through, which some people are very lucky to have. I'm lucky to have it also. My family, when it counts, like they're there and whatnot. But for the most part, some people make your birthday about themselves. It sometimes can be drama. Um, and I just don't want any of that. I don't want people not being able to show up, which is their right and they could do what they want to do. But they're texting you with paragraphs on paragraphs as to why they can't come. And they're so sorry and they'll catch up with you later. Like, bitch, I don't care about all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like... You could have just not showed up. I don't need all that. I don't care. Got some messages like that at my birthday party five years ago. I was like, I didn't respond. I'm like, girl, whatever. I'm like, bye. <laughs> Part of it is also because I'm a little shady. Because I'm like, you invite all these people to your party. And then, and my birthday's early in the year. My birthday's in March. So you invite all these people to your party. They come celebrate with you. And for the rest of the year, if you had 30, 40, 50 people, and they all have their birthdays during the rest of the year, there is that expectation that you got to be there because they came through for you. <laughs> and I'm like, ugh. And I'm, again, I have anxiety. So me being at social events, my social clock runs out really quickly. Like, I love seeing my friends and catching up. And a lot of times I leave those events feeling full. But then a lot of times I leave feeling drained. Like, my social clock is completely depleted. And I don't want to see people for months at a time. And, you know, it's a lot. Like, when you are dealing with your mental health and prioritizing peace, which is a priority, a major priority at this point in my life. You have to make sure that you put yourself first and listen to your body and listen to when you're not feeling it <laughs> and know when it's your time to go. I always say have your get thex bag. So always drive your own car to an event so that when your social clock has run out and you're not feeling it no more and you're not feeling the energy or your anxiety is acting up or you're feeling depressed or you just don't want to be there. The energy is not serving you any longer. You take up your keys, bid everyone else farewell, and then you bounce and go on your way. I just don't like the stress of planning birthday parties. I don't like the added expense to it too because sometimes, let's be honest, Black people, I'm not saying that you have a birthday party, you have an event to get gifts. That is not the point of an event. You have an event to celebrate whatever the occasion is, whether it be a baby shower, a birthday, a wedding, whatnot. And I always say too, do not plan an event if you can't afford to feed people and entertain them because people will be planning events and then they get mad as hell when they don't be getting the gifts that match the contribution that they put out there for their guests. That's not why you should be doing that. You're doing it for all the wrong reasons. I always look at everything else in life as a bonus. If you spent a certain amount of the party and then you get way more back in love and gifts, you came out ahead. But that's not the reason why you should be doing it. But I was looking like, why am I spending hundreds of dollars on other people to feed them and be around them when I could take that same money and put it towards a trip and do what I want to do and not have to be disappointed in others. I'm like, mm, yeah, that's a hard decision not. <laughs> so I just decided to just put me first always. And I'm like, if I'm not a social person and even when I get invited to events, half the time I don't want to go. Not because I don't want to go, but because I think about how much goes into it, the logistics, me planning an outfit, me looking into childcare, if I got to bring my kids, worrying about if they don't act right or dealing with their needs. And let's be honest, when you are a parent and you're out with your kids, you're not enjoying yourself because if they're, especially if they're very young, you're always worried about whether or not they're okay, if they're getting into something, they're not getting into something. And then if there's a pool nearby, like you're just looking at all dangerous hazards and what could happen, them being kidnapped. But there's so many things running through your mind as a parent that you can never really sit down and really take it in and relax. So a lot of times when it's an event and I gotta bring my kids, I'm thinking like, uh-uh. And then if I'm away from my kids, I'm worried like, about them making sure that everything's okay yeah, because i'm a person that i love to see people happy like i like to do things and i love to witness their joy and that brings me joy but then i think about it i'm like half the time when i have events i'm cooking like a slave on the stove from morning to night i don't sit down i'm entertaining i'm dilly dallying all around trying to make sure everyone else is having a good time and i don't really take the time to really 
relax and get into it. Half the time I don't eat the whole day because I'm so stressed out. Then I turn around, all the food is gone. Everyone ate their belly full, took home seconds and not even taste my own food or the food that I bought. Like I'm like, all of this could be avoided by celebrating me the way that I want to on my own terms with my budget solely for me and not having to play into those politics and and stuff. Like your birthday, your rules, your birthday should be about you. Especially if you are a person who doesn't like social events and likes to be a recluse at times like I do in a little a loner. Like I can play the social thing. I can I can be very social. I'm a social butterfly when I have to be. But a lot of times that's not who I am as a person. And I like to do me <laughs> and just be quiet and listen to music and just my day is all about me. And I think that um, nothing wrong with celebrating your birthday with others. And as again, your birthday, your rules. And not saying that I won't have a party for my 40th, but this every year thing, no. <laughs> no, I think even if I do do a party again, I think it'll be very low key, scale back, very intimate. I'm grown. I'm. I'm the 30, the 30 and up crew, 35 and up crew, approaching 40 crew. Grown and sexy, probably a little dinner thing, intimate, wine and cheese, hors d'oeuvres, food, you know, the whole works. But big party planning, big pimping, expecting other people to take their hard earned vacation and squander it on little old me. I'm not expecting that because you can't expect that from me because if you were to come expect me to take my vacation time and go away for your birthday and then me not have time for mine or my kids stuff and whatnot not happening so yeah so that's my explanation of why i no longer celebrate my birthday do y'all celebrate your birthday let me know in the comments like what do you like to do on your birthday do you like to travel are you one of those people who expect your friends to travel also or like, what what do you like to do? Tell me in the comments, we'll discuss there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, pretty, pretty please consider subscribing to my channel and make sure you like this video also and share if you care and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now. <laughs>